Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a switch that will turn Wi-Fi on and off. As you can see, we have a message here, and that says Wi-Fi is currently on. We also have a switch that is turned on, and you can see in our notification tab that we have a connected symbol for the Wi-Fi. Go ahead and click the switch. Now you'll see Wi-Fi is off, and we have been disconnected from the network we were on. So to get back on the network, let's click the switch. You'll see Wi-Fi has been connected. It may take a moment to turn on, and if you wait for it, there. So now our Wi-Fi has been turned on, and it automatically connected as it normally would to our Wi-Fi network. So that's the app we're gonna make right now. First thing we're gonna do is go to our activity, actually our XML activity. So you wanna go to app and then come down to resources or res and go down to layout and you'll find your activity main.xml. It might be named something different for you, but mine is activity main.xml. So I'm using a relative layout and inside that I have a text view and a switch. You can drag a switch and text view on if you prefer, but I'm just gonna work with the text for now. So I have a text view with a wrap content and all that position as most of this is really unimportant you can set it to whatever you want however we will need two things for sure one being the ID you can pretty much set the ID to whatever you want uh, however you will need to remember it also you might want to take a uh, notice at the text of the text view currently mine is set to Wi-Fi is currently unavailable it should never say that in the app when it's running but just in case our app fails for some reason it'll have a nice little message to say that Wi-Fi is not working right now uh, we also have a switch again we don't really need to be concerned with what everything says here uh, it says switch on mine and the ID is important uh, it's Wi-Fi switch for me you can use whatever you want but just remember what you named it or what you set the ID to let's uh, take a break from the hardcore coding and go up here to our app then manifest and Android manifest this is important because we need to tell our app that we have permission uh, to use the Wi-Fi manager and access Wi-Fi states and change the Wi-Fi state the first permission we'll use is the Android permission access Wi-Fi state Basically, all we're doing here is telling the device that we are actually allowed to access uh, the state of the Wi-Fi, meaning is it on, is it off, is it connected to a network, is it not connected. And then we'll also be able to want to change the Wi-Fi state. So let's disable the Wi-Fi, or let's enable it, or let's not connect to a network, or let's connect to a network. That's all we need to add on here. Make sure it's uh, above the application. Next, and finally, we will need to go app, Java, the package name, and then main activity. Here's where all the magic is going to happen. This is uh, the hardest part of the app, so hold on tight. We're going to declare three different variables. The first one is Wi-Fi Manager, Wi-Fi Manager. Uh, you can choose whatever you want for these names here, but Wi-Fi Manager is pretty easy to remember because it's a Wi-Fi Manager class that we're using. So that's what I've set mine to. Likewise with the text view, it's a Wi-Fi status text view. And for switch, it's a Wi-Fi switch. I feel those names are pretty self-explanatory as to what we're talking about. Let's go down a little bit more into our onCreate method. We're going to need to define the variables that we just added up here. So first we're going to define our Wi-Fi manager as a Wi-Fi manager and we're going to get the system service from our phone or device uh, which is through context.wifi service. So once we're done with that we can go down one more line and we're going to set our text view. We're actually looking at this text view right here uh, from our XML and we're going to find the view by ID which is r.id.wifi status text view. So this right here is this text view. If you did a different ID than I did, make sure you change it when you're in here. So we got Wi-Fi status text view equals text view find view by ID r.id Wi-Fi status text view. And next we'll do a Wi-Fi switch equals switch find view by ID r.id dot Wi-Fi switch. We're also going to need to check the Wi-Fi state. Uh, this is going to tell us whether Wi-Fi is on or off. Pretty useful for when we start first start the app. So if the Wi-Fi manager is Wi-Fi enabled. Basically, it's going to ask our phone, is the Wi-Fi on? And if the Wi-Fi is on, we're going to change our text view to say Wi-Fi is on, and we'll set the switch to be checked. However, if the Wi-Fi is not enabled or disabled, we will set our text to Wi-Fi is currently off, and we will also uncheck or not check the Wi-Fi switch. Lastly, but most importantly, we need a Wi-Fi switch check change listener. Basically, this will listen uh, to our input and depending on whether we checked it or not, it will turn Wi-Fi on and off. So Wi-Fi switch dot set on check change listener new compound button dot on check change listener and inside of that we're going to have a public void on check change compound button button view boolean is checked and so we're going to do a if else statement on our boolean which is is checked so if it is checked we're going to set the wi-fi to be enabled also we're going to set our text view remember this text view right here to say wi-fi is currently on and we're going to include a message here a toast message 
that little pop-up window. If you recall what that looks like, it's this one right here. And basically that's gonna tell the user that Wi-Fi will be on in a moment. It just takes a second because it uh, might be a moment before it can connect to a network. And then we'll have a long toast, which means it'll display that message for a while. And then we gotta dot show it. However, if the switch is not checked, we're going to do two things. First of all, we're going to disable the Wi-Fi. And finally, we're going to set the text to be off. So just like this. Basically, uh, now you can run the app and hopefully it works for you. If not, feel free to contact me in the comments below or through my email or through my website. Hopefully you learned a lot in this video and I can't wait to see you in the next one.